Hi guys, microchip tips for you today. I had one of these break on my parents place uh, or they have AC light and it needed replacing. I got a replacement. I asked them to reset it into caps mode so it becomes like a slave to the caps manager. This is the brilliant thing about Microtech. You know, you don't have to go through this faff with uh, Ubiquiti adopting or anything like this. You set up the caps manager, you put these sort of things into um, caps mode and then your network is like really well managed and scalable and big and all the rest of it. Anyway, the AC light was not working at my parents' place. Uh, it was really, it, it was, it, I told them to put it exactly how it was but it, it just was, wasn't working unless Ether 1 was plugged into Ether 2, the devices connected on the other ports, the other, on the other ports would work but wireless was not working. So, hmm, what was going wrong here? So initially I thought the only way I could get to a device which didn't seem to be coming online with an IP was with Winbox, you know, connecting to the MAC address. But how do you get Winbox working from here in Singapore over to the UK? I think there's a way using this thing called Ram, Rom, Ramon, but it's you have to enable it before <laughs> before, uh, which I haven't done. Um, so the answer is using MacTelnet, uh, a new feature I found out. So let me just show you here. I'm connecting to my parents' uh, CAPS manager bed, uh, my gateway uh, uh, device. And if in IP neighbor here, you can see all the other two devices spread it all around the house to to do the whole coverage so what was happening was the new one to replace workshop workshop 2 was not getting an ip address how do you connect to it without winbox easily with um this slash tool mac telnet boom and i'm in so now i'm in the workshop 2. so um I fixed it by manually adjusting the configuration here. Um, and you might be thinking, well, why did this problem occur in the first place? Well, there, there is this, what do you call it? Default uh, configuration, but it's generated and I couldn't really see a problem. What was going, you know, I couldn't really see why, I couldn't really debug it. <laughs> Uh, for this particular, especially since it was remote. I did, uh, I did, uh, this is what it was looking, you can see that Ether1 wasn't on the bridge. I did complain to um, uh, Microtech support saying, um, but they didn't seem to, to, to get what was going wrong here. So if anyone knows better than me, then please let me know. But I just wanted to point out IP neighbors to see other Microtech devices on your network. Don't need Winbox, Tool Mac, Telnet. And um, of course, <laughs> you know, the, there's Winbox, there's the web. I mean, the, the web one it does show you Mac Telnet, but of course, when you click it, it doesn't do anything. You have to do it from, from the uh, CLI. Okay, I hope you liked that video. Another news I'm going to Japan tonight, to Tokyo for two weeks and then leaving from Osaka. So if you, if you, any of you Japan files could give me some tips, I'd be grateful. See ya, I hope you enjoyed that, bye.